Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode here on the Comic Conversation YouTube channel. I'm one of your hosts, W. James, along with Asher. Asher, how are you? Great. That's awesome. So we're doing a character battle. First character battle of the season. You excited? Because I'm excited. Yes, I'm so excited. You're so excited. Butt. Okay, we're we're not no delaying no longer. Let's see who Asher's character is. Where is it? Who knows? That's okay. Um, anyway. Behind you. Oh, it's behind me. All right. Okay, so this is your character, correct? Yes. I've oh, he's on that screen too. Um, I've never seen this man in my life. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have been reading comics for a while. He he's got a like a, I think a quiver. He probably has a bow and arrow of sorts. No, uh, not a bow and arrow. He's got a gun of sorts. Nope. Uh, he's got a, a staff of sorts. Nope. Does, a weapon. Yes. Okay. He a, has a shield. A shield. So he's Captain America. No. Okay. Um, Arkin. Who is he? Arkin. Arkin. Look, oh, Arkin. Arkin. The Ar I am Ark Arkin the Magnificent. He must be pretty. He must be he's pretty like, great. He's like half god. Half god. Okay. Um, Arkin, like he has an invincible shield. Okay. And he has these lightning bolts. One yellow one okay. can teleport him anywhere. Okay. Like that's what I was okay. going for. Yeah, okay, and then cool. he has a red one and a black one that can explode whatever oh, it hits. So that's your character. Let's see who my character is. Okay. All right, that's Big Barda. Big Barda, member of Darkseid's female... Bartha? Fear. Barda, B-A-R-D-A. -A. Um, like. She's a member of the New Gods from New Genesis, but she's also was Dark, one of Darkseid's strongest um, warriors. She led the Female Furies, which were Darkseid's elite Black Ops team. Darkseid being the biggest bad of the DC Universe. So she was essentially general of all of his forces. So wouldn't this be like half god, half god battle? Yeah, for the most part. Except she's pretty much full god for the most part. Um, she's practically immortal. She's barely aged a day. Um, she's got superhuman strength, superhuman stamina. She that's, has the, the Mega Rod as well. That's what Arkin, Arkin is. is. Okay. So, um, how is Arkin potentially going to defeat Big Barda, leader of the Female Furies, and Darkseid's right-hand person most of the time? She's also a good guy, by the way. She defects from Darkseid because she's that cool. He, he could technically just throw one of his lightning bolts and teleport her into a black hole or something that could eat her up. Yeah, but we're talking like about... Like the God Eater, what would you call it? Um, he could teleport her into the God like Eater. The God Eater? Um, I mean, he could do that, right? He's got that sweet, that sweet, sweet shield. But Big Barda, or he could explode her. But you, but he's got, he's got all the everything. He's uh, Big Barda's got everything that she's needed, right? She's got the mega rod. She's got the training of years and years and years of apocalypse. Apocalypse, no slouch. I don't know what this Death Eater is. Yes, you have a question. Is she invincible? Uh, pretty invincible. When she's got that apocalyptic armor, there are no bullets, no punches, nothing that can really hurt her. Um, even with, even without ditch in the armor, uh, you still got a bunch of, uh, she can still dodge bullets, she can dodge bullets, and she can do a bunch of other things that involve fighting and punching and being invulnerable to a lot of things. Uh, I just have one thing to say. Please say uh, it. No god is invincible to the god eater. No, now can you explain to me what the god eater is? It's Basically it's like this giant monster in space that literally can just eat the gods and kill them. But we're talking about a word that's... Even after they were re reborn after mm. dying. We're, but we're talking to one of the, the most ferocious warriors that Apocalypse has ever seen. You know, Apocalypse has fire pits, dark side, uh, Calabac, no slouch fighters. Be, she beat them all. Punched them, kicked them, exploded them. They're all gone, you know? This, this person's not to be taken lightly. She's not to be taken lightly. Yes, question. How would she be, how would she beat my character? Well, first off, she just beat him up. <laughs> He's got a shield. <laughs> She's got the sweet mega rod, and also she has the power to teleport using the mother boxes. So the mother box could easily teleport him to the god eater, and then his own god eater just ate him. But he could tell him, teleport himself back. But what if she teleported his god eater out of the area, and then he, she teleported him to the god eater? The god eater has been cursed to stay up in there. Okay, so the god eater's in one spot. So like, okay, so Big Barda and Arkin are fighting each other, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, Big Barda teleports Arkin to the God Eater. What happens now? 
just teleport the God Eater to a different place in that section. But the God Eater or, can't move anywhere. No, it, he can, okay. but in a little section. Okay. So, like, the God Eater could either just, he could teleport the God Eater somewhere else in that section, mm-hmm. or he could just teleport himself back. Now, question. What if Big Bar just knocks him out? Just one punch. Knocked him out. Uh, his skin is at least, like, 20 times denser than the human skin, so no. he's invul- invulnerable, so probably would be very much to knock him out, Here's also another. with his helmet. Okay, this is red. The helmet, also shout out to his helmet. His helmet's very cool. Uh, now, what if Big Barter just beats him up, he's weak, he's he's breathing heavy, and then Big Barter teleports him to Galactus? Can he beat Galactus? Yeah. Okay. I was just curious. I was testing him. Um, I still think I got this, though. I mean, we got New Genesis Summer, we got Mother Boxes, Mother Boxes, the Mega Rod. We got we got this God v. God battle, which I find very fascinating. He's um, not technically a god. He's demigod, like half god. Half god. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Asher. I think this, you were right. This is a 50-50 battle, but I think it goes to Big Bard in this one. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not letting go of this hill. This is the hill I'm dying Just on. Just ask the comments. Look yes, in the comments. Yeah. What do you think in the comments down below? Do you think Big Barda beats Arkin, or does Arkin beat Big Barda? I think I'm very biased, but I think it's Big Barda. Asher thinks it's Arkin. Let us I know in the comments. I actually think comments. it might be Big Barda. You really? Why? I'm curious to see Most why. Most likely because I don't know if Arkin would actually attack a girl. Oh, really? He's just, he's chivalrous. He's, he's, a, he's a gentleman. Yes, actually, he, uh, he was in a fight, and uh, Scarlet Witch, mm-hmm. he went to kill all of the Avengers, but mm-hmm. he didn't kill Scarlet Witch. Interesting. His weakness is women. I don't know. Okay, got you. Let us know in the comments down below. I'm one of your hosts, W. James. Asher, thank you for joining me once again. Now, I hope to see you soon. I think it's a big part of dude. So do I. Yeah. Most likely, I feel like I had a weak spot. Why did I not choose the other guy? That's okay. What's his name? He has like the golden helmet that controls all his powers. Dr. Fate? Yes. Why didn't I choose him? I don't know. That would have been great, though. Save him for another time. Surprise me. Uh, That's probably not going to happen. No, okay. Never mind. There's also a bunch of sources. You could pick Dr. Strange. Do you know who Hardball is? I think I've heard of him. I'm not sure. He has like this magnetic hands that are invincible or